My name is Kelly Jensen, and I'm one of the co-founders of Perspectability, which is a nonprofit that was founded by mothers of neurodiverse children, who once we um, started recognizing the limited opportunities um, for adults with differences, um, as a whole, we wanted to be part of that solution. So um, we got together over coffee and kind of talked about our fears, truthfully. Um, you know, someday we are going to pass away. We're not going to be here any longer. And what does that mean for our own children and their future? And then we had to figure out, okay, how do we bring awareness to the problem, um, which is just a lack of opportunities for neurodiverse adults? How do we bring awareness to that? And how do we fund this mission that we have? Um, and tulips kind of became the answer. So True Colors Farm is the first you pick tulip farm in Northwest Arkansas. 100% of the proceeds go back to our nonprofit Perspectability, um, which serves the neurodiverse community in Northwest Arkansas. So this is our second season. Our first season, we hand planted 57,000 tulip bulbs um, that are direct from the Netherlands and we sold out. Um, so this year we doubled up and we had the community come and helped us plant 120,000 tulip bulbs again by hand. Um, and then we open up for the month of April and you can pick flowers, um, you can spend time here, have a picnic, have photography, or photographers come and take pictures of your family. Um, and then we have a wrapping station where we wrap your, ten, uh, your tulips in a beautiful bouquet. And that is all done um, by our employees who are all neurodiverse. So it's just a really special location right here in Northwest Arkansas. So we hire Neuro inclusively and we pay a fair wage, which are two things that are not um, abundantly available right now. So um, it's been really special to hire neurodiverse people. Um, the biggest thing about the farm is to, um, we don't want anyone to leave the farm thinking they just came to a tulip farm. Um, we want people to leave, em leave empowered where they live, work, and play that they can do better. So maybe in their own workplace, maybe they can hire inclusively. Maybe in their hobbies and just their daily activities, they can be more inclusive and they can see how easy it is. Um, you know, we provide that opportunity. Something that I've learned over the years, um, I've been a mother for 19 years now, and something that I've learned um, is the common thread is someone will say, I gained so much more from being Cody's friend or whoever's friend than I gave. And I hear that every single time. So the future is bright. Um, we have a couple of really big goals. So one of which is to create a transition academy. And that looks like a two year, 24 seven, post high school educational opportunity for adults with differences to focus on job skills, self-sufficiency, social skills, all of those things to help them through adulthood. Um, and then the final step would be to create an inclusive subdivision for permanency. I know that I want my son and I know that other families want their child to have a permanent home that's theirs, um, that they can be proud of. And so we want to offer that. I know that I've become, I have gained such a respect for the tulip. But so many things that I didn't know um, when I embarked on this, um, we've all become um, in love with them and they signify so much strength and beauty and we love that and so we want, we definitely want to keep that tradition going forever.